Hi, this is Venkat Vaisan. I am here with a uh, very short video of 5 to 6 minutes with the two objectives. Objective 1, to let you know that there is a new option to access the build apps. And objective 2, to give you a glimpse of um, build apps, how it feels like, how it looks like. That's it. Please don't expect uh, too many details in, th in this uh, short video. So, what is that new option to access uh, Build Apps? Now, Build Apps is available with the BTP free uh, trial account. Please note, it's a trial account, not free tier account. So, credit card details are not required. This option is very brand new. In fact, I think uh, I'm the first person to access it out of SAP uh, for two reasons. SAP hasn't announced it as of now and still the booster is missing uh, here to automatically configure uh, build apps so all the authorization uh, settings are to be done manually and I have done that exercise so for us it's ready to use so now let's get into the details so this is the global account just to give you an idea and the global account has sub accounts. Now I am getting into this sub account. Once you are there in the sub account, please click on instances and subscriptions. It gives you the list of services already subscribed under this specific sub account. There are several of them, but for us, what are relevant as functional consultants? Let's see. So build process automation, build apps, and build work zone. These three are for functional consultants. So I'm not going to talk about the remaining ones. So now let's click on SAP build apps. It takes you to the lobby. You see the lobby. So basically the lobby is where you see all the already created projects. And you also see a few templates that are given by SAP that can be readily used. For example, this is the template to create um, approval process for invoice. This is to create a sales order approval process. And if you want to see more, go right and click on browse content. You see there are 325 projects given by SAP out of the box. So you can start using them on day one. Not all of them are developed by SAP. Some of them are developed by their partners. And there are different types of projects. We will see those details later. Now let's go back to lobby and click on create. Here you go. You see there are three tiles. The first one is meant for build apps. And the second one is for process automation. And third one is for build work zone. You know what is the purpose of each um, option if you are following me on LinkedIn because I wrote detailed uh, posts on them. Now let's go to um, build apps. There are two options here. This is to build either mobile or web application and this is to build backend to store the data on build apps itself. Now let's click on this tile and give a project name build with Venkat and then click on create. Yeah, here you go. This is the place where you spend most of the time uh, designing your application. And just an overview, as I said earlier, please don't expect uh, uh, too much details. In this uh, short video so on the top you see the global toolbar um, with the different options and on the left side you see the components these components are drag and drop as I said many times so let's say this is input field drag and drop and then password drag and drop and then button again drag and drop now the first one is input so what to be the input value? As you see, F4 options in SAP GUI, 
let's say you want to have that sort of options to choose from you can configure them those sort of uh, properties on the right hand side for each of those components and once let's say this field um, the input value is user id and here you provide the password and then you click on button then what should happen when you click on button that needs logic right that logic is provided here under logic canvas still without coding the logic also without coding so how does it happen choose this uh, button component and then let's say the goal is when the user clicks on this button the application should take the user to the next page or open a new page in that case drag and drop this open page again this is the logic or you can call it logic box and then yeah connect it to, the, to this one that's it so in fact what you did here you provide the input value for example user id and then password and click on button then it takes you to the next page that's simple but of course there are other things to uh, configure for example uh, connecting your um, application to the back end s4 hana system or maybe third party application we will see those details later uh, this is it for now thank you bye bye